This mural is called Elemental and it was painted by about 500 volunteers over the course of a weekend and it took us uh, several months of planning beforehand. And um, the reason why we chose this site, uh, for me it's really interesting as an artist because um, it's a very unique community. It has the opportunity to bring all different kinds of people together. Uh, so this green belt acts as a contact zone between people who live in very large houses and people who live in very small apartments, people who are at the close of their lives and living in senior and assisted living, and people who are at the very beginning of their lives as you see kids wandering around the neighborhood in strollers and toddling. So for me, uh, a place and we have affordable housing and condominiums we have just a lot of different economic means and a lot of different stages of life here in this little tiny neighborhood um, but we don't necessarily always see each other or stop and greet each other so the idea of creating public art and especially community art in a place like this is to bring give people the opportunity to pause and connect and create a feeling and an environment in which pausing to connect or smile at each other um, that just pushes you over the edge to be a little bit more friendly to those people who you might not see or interact with in other parts of your daily life. So the mural here was designed through a community process and we had children and we had seniors and we had everybody in between um, and teenagers helping out with the design and uh, we really wanted to honor the animals and plants that live in our neighborhood and our connection to the natural world that people come into the green belt and the green spaces in order to enjoy. But we also wanted to um, celebrate the diversity of people in our neighborhood and the cultures. Uh, one of the things that came up when we were doing the design workshops was people talking about um, all the signs that people put in front of their houses to honor the cultures of, that may not be their own culture, but signs in many languages to honor um, the many cultures that come into our neighborhood and make people feel friendly. So um, everything from the flicker bird, which is sacred uh, to the Native American people who were on this land first, um, and the koi fish, which are a symbol of peace and tranquility, to folks who come from East Asia, um, the lotus blossom, which is a sign of wisdom, um, and um, the crayfish, which are special to the children who live in the neighborhood and like to catch them. Um, and then things that are European immigrants like me, like our, um, our weedy and beautiful bindweed, right? Has come from Europe and it tends to plant itself all over our neighborhoods. Uh, and so each one of the pieces of um, the pictures that make up the mural has a connection to both the physical nature and the cultures that share this site. Um, and the stories that we can talk to each other about and invites, you know, some kind of reflection. Um, so you can enjoy it just by walking through and enjoying the colors and the brightness, but you can also stop and think about it and how you connect with the other people who you might see here as you walk through.